Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Had a great weekend shooting, and it made me think about wanting to do this video. I kind of talked about it or addressed it on another video. If you like shooting, if you like hunting, if you like planking, whatever, now is the time to get some ammo. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a, a particular gun, now is the time. So if you're an outdoors person and you like shooting, you need to seriously consider getting some ammo and stocking up now. Now, I'm not talking about some crazy zombie apocalypse or end of the world crap. Politically, I suppose we could call it uh, an apocalypse. Washington and the politicians, it's just crazy. Both sides, if you ask me, the right and the left, they, they screw up the gun issue so bad. But bottom line is if we get another Democrat, which we will, ammo's going to disappear again. And then you're not going to be able to get it. And a lot of you are going to want to go shoot. And you can't even go to Walmart and buy 22 long rifle ammo, which is ridiculous. Right now, ammo is the cheapest and guns are the cheapest that I've seen it in almost my lifetime, other than like 30 years ago when I was a really young man. 22 long rifle ammo is back on the shelves at Walmart. You can find it online and it's down to about four cents a round. That's a little over $20 for 500 rounds. You know, that's what it was going for when I was a teenager and in my early 20s. So get some now while you can. The reason being is it's like stocks. You don't buy stocks when they're high. Okay, you buy them when they're low. And shooting, let's face it, it's an investment. When you shoot, you can easily shoot more money out of your gun than the cost of the gun that you're shooting the ammo out of. So save yourself some money and some hassle and get some ammo now. Ammo's not gonna go bad. If you seal it properly and store it, it's gonna outlast you. So. The 22 ammo. I didn't buy 22 ammo for 10 years. The, the whole time that it was gone off the shelf and it was going for ridiculous amounts of money, I didn't buy any because I had some. Here is some Federal. And I got this at a great price. And all I did was I used my Food Saver vacuum sealer and I put it in here and I seal it up and I throw it on the shelf. And this is good for 10, 20 years. And so if politically things change and people start going crazy and you can't buy ammo at Walmart anymore, I'm good to go and I'm shooting at four cents a round, not 15 cents a round, which is absolutely ridiculous for 22 long rifle. And again, I'm emphasizing, I'm not talking about saving up for some crazy end of world scenario apocalypse. I'm just talking about feeding your hobby, um, which is, is shooting, target practicing, hunting. You know, if, if we were talking about golf and politically, you know, Democrat or Republican got in and golf balls disappeared and they went up to five bucks or 10 bucks a ball, I'd be telling golfers, go buy your golf balls now while they're cheap and affordable because you can't golf without the balls. All right, so you can vacuum seal. Another one I'd put on was Ammo can, Sportsman's Guide, I got this for $8.99. This is a US made 50 cal ammo can. This is the perfect storage device when you buy your bulk ammo, okay? I just got these. They got a little rubber gasket. I can take my vacuum seal. I put it in here, close it up, stick it on the shelf, and I'm good to go. How do I figure out how much to buy? We'll figure up approximately how much you shoot a year. If usually a 500 round box of 22 ammo lasts you a couple of years, well, then buy six or seven of them and put them away and you'll probably weather any kind of political garbage that's going on until they're back on the shelf. The other thing I do is if I have a couple of cans that I fill up, like here, this is 308. Okay, this is military surplus. I've got several 308s and I like shooting it. I put just a little piece of uh, painter's tape on here and this reminds me that this can is sealed. It hasn't been opened from whenever the, the military sealed them away. 
This is like 20 year old ammo. I got, I got two boxes of this. I opened up the other one and the ammo was pristine. It had never been opened. So I put this on there, reminds myself, don't open this can. If I've got the other can next to it, it means that's the one that I'm opening. You can even go so far as get these little oxygen saver packs and you throw it in there and then you close it and seal it. It absorbs the oxygen and again, it's going to last indefinitely. When it comes to guns, right now it's the same thing. If I've been thinking about getting an AR-15 or you know, a 9mm pistol or something, again, not for some crazy apocalypse because I like to shoot and I like going hunting, now's the time. I just saw on DE Guns they had Smith & Wesson MP15, which is a great entry-level AR-15 for $429. 429 that's a ridiculous price if I've been thinking I might want to get one of those someday now's the time because we have no idea what's going to happen politically and in three years from now they could all be gone again or they've jumped back up to nine hundred dollars to a thousand dollars and that's if you can find them so anyway when it comes to shooting and your hobby Think about it like the stock market. Be prepared so that you're not like everybody else and trying to get to Walmart you know, in the morning and grab some 22 long rifles so you can go out with your kid and shoot some tin cans or go squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting. So until next time, thanks for joining.